Hi guys, it's me, Colette. I am back for yet another video. Well, this is not the haul video I intended to share with you guys, so there will be <laughs> another haul video in the possibly near future. But I wanted to come in here, trying to get my hair behind my ear. I wanted to come in here and share with you a gifted haul. All these things that I'm about to share with you were all gifted to me by a very, very loving and dear friend. And um, yeah, he supports my habit. <laughs> so let me get the box. It's not a small box. Oh my goodness. It's a ginormous box, y'all. A very big box. I've kind of organized this stuff in here and kind of gone through just a wee bit to see exactly what was in here <sighs> these are all high-end products there are only two items in the box that i currently already own and use but my daughter has already confiscated one of the items so i'm gonna start with that particular item the one that she confiscated um the sweet peach palette smells so divine i have one in my collection but miss hannah just took it so this is gonna be mine <laughs> um the other item is a lot of two faced stuff guys there are a lot of two faced stuff in here some clinique some estee lauder some bobby brown tom ford smashbox uh, did i say clinique yeah i think so all right so let's get on with it I have this powder currently using, so now I have a backup. I'm not even going to open the box. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. And yeah, so you know that's good stuff. Another Too Faced item is the Too Faced Prime Set and Refresh 3-in-1 Replenish Primer and Setting Spray. By the way, this video is going to take a while, so... And I'm not cutting it, y'all. So you better grab your wine, get your cup of tea, your coffee, whatever it is, your brew is, and sit down. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. Because <laughs> I'm not making two videos. I'm just going to do it all in one shot. So this is that product. I've seen, I've not really checked the reviews, but I know Too Faced skincare stuff, and their priming agents are really good so i'll use this i think i have the tart version of this but i don't like it so much i got it in a boxy charm but this i'll use so there's that get the box out of the way another two face item i got radiant duo tone bronzer in sun bunny and this is the only item that came slightly damaged but it's okay, I shall fix her. So see, just a wee bit on the edge there, but it's okay, I know how to fix her. And I kinda swatched it on my hand and I like the sheen and the bronzing effect it gives. It's like a light satin sheen to this one and I think that is gorgeous. All right, another box just bit the dust on me wipe off here because I spilled the broken pieces onto the vanity all right I guess I should just go through with the Too Faced stuff right because I'm reaching for all Too Faced stuff all right there are some lipsticks in the box one of them is the Too Faced melted matte and I love this formula it's the liquefied matte um, in sellout and so yeah, I got sellout to add to the collection. Yippers. That's another Too Faced item. I have two of the concealers, the Born This Way concealers. This one is a very light shade, it's seashell, but natural beige. 
I can use, I already tested the color. I can use it for highlighting under the eyes. I did buy one of these um, when they first came out in butterscotch and I've been using it as a foundation actually. So I'd be happy to use this um, natural beige with the, you know, under my eye as a highlighter and uh, got this one as well. I might give this to someone, the seashell, because it's a much, much lighter shade. But I'm glad he sent two. <laughs> um, also got a new um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. This one, it was one of my go-tos. And after I used my first one, after a couple of years, that's how long it lasted, I threw it out. So now I have a new one. No, I'm not going to open that. It's going to go in storage in the box. I also got two of the Too Faced Rich and Dazzling High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. And one is in Pretty Penny. This is Pretty Penny. And I, if you notice, I'm not swatching because if I swatch, it's going to take a year and a day. And y'all might get really bored. But this is what Pretty Penny looks like. Hold on. Camera. Yeah. It's Pretty Penny. And uh, there is a pink tone one. That's called Sunset Crush. And he chose all these, y'all. He He's, yeah. That is so pretty. He's known me for like over 10 years, so <laughs> he has an idea of things I like. All right, there are three mascaras. One of the mini um, Better Than Sex waterproof. There's the full size and a regular Better Than Sex. So that's three of them. Hannah's already claimed this one, so I'm going to give this one to Miss Hannah. Alrighty, more items coming up, y'all. Just trying to get through the Too Faced stuff. Alright, another Too Faced item. It's the Born This Way Foundation, medium to full coverage on the textable foundation. This is not my shade, but I'm going to see. This is not my shade. Um, I think I'll probably pass this on to a friend as well, just like the seashell, um, concealer over there, because those two are too light. So yeah. Okay. Looks like that's it for, yeah, that's it for, um, Too Faced. All right. Clinique, this is the um, the hydration, skincare specialist, super hydrated, a supercharged hydration. I actually like the hydration line from them. I find it works out good when I'm on my regimen using the Retin-A because it gives me the skincare and very lightly and gives me the moisture that I need so I'm not peeling as badly. Just like how I like the It Cosmetics um, one. So in this box, I got, oh, I thought I opened this so I can make it like, yeah, make life easier for myself. So there are three items in this box. And uh, this is the eye gel, Moisture Surge eye gel. And when you're getting older, you want to have, you know, eye care. But even if you're oily skinned, you want under your eyes to be hydrated. This is the Moisture Surge um, Hydrating Supercharging Concentrate. Sounds like a serum to me. What's that? 100% fragrance free use morning or PM, morning or evening on clean skin. So I'm looking forward to getting into that one and the overnight mask. I think I tried a sample of the overnight mask a few months back and I liked it. So these are welcome additions to my collection. 
of skincare items. Moving right along, there is a Clinique foundation, y'all. The actually, I think there's two in here. This is this supercharged, super balanced makeup. It's this one. It's a foundation. He sent me a bunch of foundations. Um, hmm. There's another foundation. Oh, there are like two more foundations, I think. Anyway, we're going along. This, um, the Foman Sonic Facial Soap. And uh, this one is oil-free as well. I think these skincare stuff that I used the last time were in green, the green packaging, this one. And I have some of the... Um, the oil moisture the moisturizer the gel moisturizer left so i'm happy to receive the face wash as well so yepers okay um <sighs> breathe <laughs> there are other things in here y'all i'm going i'm going i'm going all right i'm reach oh yes here's the other clinique foundation this is the even better foundation so, yeah, so there are two Clinique foundations, so got those. I got stuff all in the way. All right, I have some Smashbox items coming out. Another foundation, weightless and oil shine control infused with kaolin clay and bamboo powder. And this is the um, Studio Skin Full Coverage 24-Hour Foundation. And uh, did I test this? There, but this one is not my shade as well. The foundations, the shades are a bit off. Not a bit, a few of them are a lot off, but he's a man. <laughs> and I didn't tell him the foundation shades. But this, when I tested it on my hand, it's not too bad. I can actually mix this with the um those foundation drop thingies and make make it work so this is going to be one of the make it works dang it i got one two three four five foundations i think okay smashbox items start straight up be legendary lipstick in the box I like the packaging on these. I think I have one in the drawer, but this is the shade straight up. I like this. I tell you, the man knows. He knows. He knows what I wear. <laughs> and he knows I love my red lips. So this is a red one. And this one is, what is this? LA Sunset. Ooh la la. Isn't that pretty? I like that. I like them both. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay. All right. Um, concealer from Estee Lauder. This is um, a double wear concealer. And of course, this is the shade I'm going to use. I had planned on buying this some months back. I think last year or something and I for some reason I never got around to it well now I have one so this gets added to the concealer collection and that's my shade so let me put the box over there and that there all right a Bobbi Brown lip gloss in the, the, the petal yep this is Bobbi Brown's lip gloss in petal and I actually have it on my lips just applying a little bit more i actually like how this feels you guys know i don't really do lip gloss much but lately i've been actually liking the high-end lip glosses because the drugstore ones is like no for me but i find that i am liking high-end lip glosses um we know that mac the mac brand is under the estee lauder umbrella as well but some of their lip gloss formulas are not that great. They kind of tend to be a bit too tacky and stuff. This is not feeling heavy or sticky or tacky and it's staying on the lips. It seems to stay on the lips and give you a nice shine and a 
hydrated feel to the lips so I am actually liking this my daughter tried to reach for this and I was like I don't think so <laughs> so yeah but I am liking the Bobbi Brown lips lip gloss already that's the first thing I tried on I haven't tried anything else yet all right Bobbi Brown since we were there moonstone it's a it's a luxe eyeshadow rich sparkle when i open this guys look at the packaging just look at that packaging y'all look at it you see you can see me and the, the little tripod i have the thingy on like the phone on and then i open this little baby like this it has a mirror right here a little plastic film on top of course can you see that oh la la do you see that do you do you i'm not even gonna stick my finger in it y'all because this is like the camera is not doing it justice the sparkle is unreal it's like ugh. <sighs> <clears throat> yeah that part all right another bobby brown item is the primer plus protection broad spectrum spf 50 this is the box this is the product this is a nice healthy tube and i really like that this is like a high end i recently picked up the SPF 30, the CeraVe, and uh, what is that brand called? Differin, the Differin moisturizer, because it had SPF 30. Well, uh -huh. I am going to like this because this is one of those products. I can just put it on during the daytime on my skin and don't even put foundation if I don't want to. And I will still have some protection because it is SPF 50 and I am loving, loving, loving this too. So yes, thank you, my dear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> yes. More lipsticks. These I did not open as yet, but I think so. I shall break them open. Um, unrequited, you know, like that unrequited love. Mm-hmm, <laughs> Oh boy. Yikes. Okay. I should have popped this one open like I did the others. Oh dear me. All right. So this is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Sculpt-in Lipstick. Ah, the bullet is so sexy. And I love the blue. It's magnetic. The two I have in my drawer are not, or three, or two, two or three. Estee Lauder. The bullet is pretty. It's cute, but it's not magnetic. This is magnetic. I can just sit here and play with it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. But he chooses the nicest colors. Look at that. He chose a very pretty color. Let's see. The foundation may not be matching, but he got the lipsticks and the lip glosses on. Yeah, he got those on track. Hello. So let me open this other one. This plastic is kind of cutting into my, you know, under my cuticle a little bit. What? Don't do that to me. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Yes, guys. So. The second Estee Lauder lipstick is in, uh, what's this? Frosted Apricot. Mm. Hello. Hi. Who are you? Look at this. Frosted Apricot just looks so pretty. Look at that. It's so pretty. Uh, I can't wait to use this. And again... Let me not sit here and play with the thing. Y'all gonna say, she's so childish, blah, 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 blah. Boo hoo you. Okay, there is Tom Ford in here. 
There's a Tom Ford foundation. It is a shade 5.5, I think. And I tested it on my hand in here and it just kind of melted a bit. So I'm thinking that this will work for me, the Tom Ford foundation. All I need on top is some powder. And yeah, you can tell by the shade that it'll work for me, definitely. And so this idiot was sitting here, the idiot meaning me, was sitting here trying to pull the cap off, right? And then I did a thing like this and I saw that happen. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> As you can see, I tested it already, yes? But yeah, when you're not used to high end something, <laughs> well, because I've never bought a Tom Ford um, powder or foundation. I've bought lipstick and I used up the lipstick and loved it. The formula was amazing on my lips, but I just never invested the money into buying the Tom Ford stuff. And I got this and I, you best believe I'm going to enjoy it. And just look at this. You close it. And you do that and it opens the little things that gets me excited i can't help it it's just my nature all right skincare more skincare items coming up i was gifted the lab series skincare and uh, this is for what it's ageless lifting cream Huh. Okay. This big jar of, of shiny goodness. I have not opened it. And I don't know anything about this, the Lab Series um, branding. So I know it's expensive though, but I'm going to look it up and see what information and how to properly use this before I even bust it open. So that's that. All right. Three more things in the box and then we're done not so bad all right night the advanced night repair serum i asked for this one specifically because i used it before and uh, at that time i don't think my skin needed it but i had gotten it and used it and it was was i i think i've been through a small bottle and half of a big bottle so i wanted this because it is a good product this one it's a it's and it's i think it's one of estee lauder's best sellers so anyway i did ask for this when i was told to make a list i said i'm not making a list i'm gonna allow you to choose so he chose all them things and this was the only thing i asked for specifically and he got this one so that's the box it comes in and he said he wasn't sure which serum i wanted so he got this, but then he also got these. So this is the Estee Lauder Idealist Pore Minimizing Skin Refinisher, this one. And this one says you use it smooth on face before moisturizer. So this one you use before your moisturizer. So I'm looking forward to putting that on and the perfectionist cp cpr or cp plus r it's a wrinkle lifting firming serum and this one also says for all skin types to use apply on clean skin before your moisturizer so i'll have to alternate and yeah and of course this one is the nighttime serum so he went to town yeah he went to town he more than went to town i i i have no complaints i am humbled i am thankful i am grateful now i know how my friends feel when i you know make them a box and and just put stuff i know they can use and figure that they will like or even love because when you're giving it's a good feeling to give to someone but being on the receiving end is 
absolutely overwhelming i tell you absolutely overwhelming and humbling at the same time so my love if you should happen to watch this video i think i may send you the link but if you happen to watch this video or not thank you thank you thank you so much i appreciate you appreciate all the love you've shown and i feel blessed ever so humble thank you stay well be beautiful be happy wash your hands wear your mask stay safe and be kind to each other being kind is cool enough love y'all bye